Good morning. Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me at Market Site is Manisha Sammy. She's an analyst over at ARK Invest, and we're going to look at investment opportunities within the genomic and gene editing space. Thank you so much for joining us Thank over you. at Market Site. Now, you specialize in genomics and gene editing stocks. What exactly is gene yeah. editing? Sure. So, gene editing is a type of technology where you can actually directly edit your DNA. So, you and I both have 3.2 billion base pairs of DNA. Uh, single mutation, you just need one, can cause cancer or any one of uh, 10,000 monogenic diseases. So with gene editing, you're able to go, go towards the root cause of disease and correct it. Does gene editing have the potential to change the face of healthcare? I would imagine it does. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but let, let, let's uh, take a step back mm -hmm. for a second. Gene editing is not anything new. It's been around for decades. It's just that CRISPR technology in particular has democratized science in the field of genome editing. Right. So, and that's because it's cheaper, it's faster, it's easier to use. So you have high school students in their science labs using CRISPR. Uh, in terms of how it's changing healthcare, now that is really fascinating. Uh, we are looking at cures for treating childhood blindness, for example, or curing cancer after failing multiple lines of therapy. So you can imagine, uh, whereas healthcare before was you treat the symptoms, we're now actually curing disease. Do you think um, there's potential for long-term investments? Is this a longer-term story? And why invest in gene editing? Like, what, what do you look for specifically when you're picking a stock? Right, sure. So there are three CRISPR-based genome editing companies. There's CRISPR Therapeutics, Editas Medicine, and Intellia. So these three are the primary IP holders, so they seek to benefit the most uh, from CRISPR genome editing. They are definitely longer-term bets. Right. Uh, so if you look at the uh, genome editing market, um, if we are just carrying monogenic diseases, so that's 2% of all genetic diseases, that's an annual $75 billion market. What monogenic? Monogenic yeah. are those diseases that are um, diseases caused by a single mutation. Okay, got it. So sickle cell disease mm -hmm. is one of them, or cystic fibrosis. Um, so those are just a few examples. But now if you look at the combined market cap of these companies, it's struggling to maintain $5 billion in market capitalization. Um, one of the things that Kathy Wood and I were talking about earlier this week uh, is that if this were back in the 90s when we were patenting genes, all these companies would have been upwards of $100 billion. So there's definitely a lot of skepticism in the field right now, and it's very nascent. Um, but we think that once we start producing more human data in the U.S., um, they'll be easily overcome. Um, it's definitely a huge market, and we're doing something good for society. And to wrap up, tell us about the ARCG Fund. What is it that you aim to do with that? Sure. So ARKG is one of four of our uh, strategies. Um, so it's an actively managed ETF. So they're carefully curated based on our internal research model. So we do a lot of top-down meets bottoms-up research. Uh, so if you're looking to invest in disruptive technology, so DNA sequencing, for example, or genome editing, uh, that's what ARKG provides. It's those companies that are capitalizing on these disruptive technology platforms. So it's really interesting. Did you come from the medical side of the business or in finance? So I actually came from the medical side. Right. Um, so by training, uh, I'm a scientist. I worked in stem cell research at Stanford's lab for about eight years, yeah. um, also at Sloan Kettering. So before ARC, uh, I had little to do with finance, right. but it was a quick thing to pick up, um, but definitely fascinated with what we're doing here at ARC Invest. I always feel like the best analysts are the ones that come from industry. That's so interesting. Well, thank well, you thank so much, Manisha, for thank joining you so us much, at Jill. Market Site. And thank you for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.